in the room. Um, I'm Akshi, I work as an archivist at Archives.cs. I'm very pleased to be welcoming you all to the 61st edition of the Archives Public Lecture Series. As some of you who have attended these talks before or are familiar with the space might know, the Archives at NCBS is a public collecting center for the history of science in contemporary India. We house over 200,000 process papers, photographs, equipment, recordings, and more. It's situated in the basement of the ELC building where we are right now. Do drop by if you have time. You can also find us online on archives.ncbs.res.in. The public lecture series is essentially talks by individuals based on their vast body of work and service. These talks are framed around their explorations in and around the archives and more broadly around the history of ideas. The series is intended discussions by artists, archivists, academicians, lawyers, teachers, journalists, and more. For this lecture, which is the 61st of the series, we are honored to welcome Arvind Gupta. It's hard to capture Arvind's extraordinary contributions to science education over 40 years. He did a BTEC from IIT Kanpur in 1975 and then left a corporate job to pursue a passion that became a lifelong quest, making science fun for children. He has written 24 books on science activities, translated over 1,000 books into Hindi, and presented 125 films of science activities for Gurudarshan. He worked at the Children's Science Center at Ayuka Puna for 11 years. The center produced 8,700 short two-minute videos on simple experiments and science toys in 20 different languages. The videos have been viewed by over 100 million children worldwide. Every day, thousands of books are downloaded from his popular website, arvindutatoys.com. He has received many honors, including the Distinguished Alumnus Award of IIT Kanpur and the Papa Shri. Once the talk is over, we'll have some time for Q&A, after which we can head towards um, the archives for a talk. There will also be tea and snacks available, so please do join us. Um, now, Professor Vijay Raghun will now be speaking a few words about Arun. Thank you very much. That's uh, very little to say about Arun's past and present that hasn't been said right now, and we all know that um, and, you know, very well. Uh, I must say that this is about my claim to fame, which is I've known him since 1970. <laughs> That's a great pleasure and honor. And apart from all the wonderful things um, he has done, uh, you know, one characteristic of Arvind is behind his extraordinary scholarship, public outreach, science for the people, he's a genuinely wonderful person. Uh, and he has an audacity and daring to take on impossible things, but do it in such a pleasant way uh, that, you know, despite all the other stuff we do, all of us, when we do things, I would say about 75 to 90 percent of what we do is necessary, and half of it is going to be but he does never tell us. Thanks, Anjali. Thanks, Venkat, for inviting me to the NCBS. My first visit to the NCBS. I'm absolutely not here. Uh, Haldane wrote a book called this, Everything is a History. And 30 years back, we got to come to the The history of the world is everything. You know, after the Second World War, many countries were totally devastated. Poor Bombardier. And the, many countries started reconstruction. They built construct school buildings, but there's no money left for them. That's the point. He said, okay, East Eagles, he was in the London School, science master. He wrote a small book for this suggestions for science experiments in devastated countries. The, the title itself is very suggestive. Very simple material. You could do that. And uh, when that came out, UNESCO was delighted by it because not only it found resonance in the countries that were devastated and doomed, but in other countries. It opened this, a grouping response this book. And then UNESCO decided to deepen it, widen the scope of it. And in 1956 came out UNESCO source book for science teachers, which is like a Bible. So science teachers, even today, in physics, biology, chemistry, all rolled into one, full of simple experiments. 
Why, why symbols is inspired by the Kushiraba scientific program uh, in the late 70s? Mm -hmm. Professor Raji, I need some feedback. Even the PhD from Gantu was in the nuclear biologist and worked at the Professor H. C. D. K. at the Gantu. That's the time when Professor Yashpal and other people. They thought that they wouldn't destroy science and thought in schools. They started, they made a small set of experiments with municipal schools in Mumbai. And they tried them out. And this also got very recognized. See smiles on the face of the children. Their eyes lit up when they did these experiments. And Anil got very inspired by this. And he left his job in the but he started the first NGOs, Ishoka. We started the Hushyabas. I think Hushyabas science was the, the only experiment in the country post the years, where an NGO worked for 25 years with over 1,200 students. Many people, many people <coughs> want this. Uh, and I'm going to show you some of the uh, some of the little things which I did then. In 1978, I used to work with Dr. Lopez, who at that time. I heard Anil Gopal in 1970, the second year student, very back venture. And <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask any questions after the lecture, but something which he said, uh, I mulled over it for years. You know, many people say that we have done, covered so much area, so many schools, etc. etc. This is the same thing. We have been working there for five years. And uh, from a city, we have a very romantic image of the beach. But once you go to the beach, you end up with glass, last gender. It's very, very difficult. We've been trying very hard. <laughs> a person with such sterling qualities, qualifications, honestly, trying his best and still not being able to. So, this is what made me go to the air. I went there and I saw that it was very, I said, Gantu is very far off, Puma is very far off. Uh, I'm going to go to the local heart, the local bazaar, which is the weekly bazaar. Buy one specimen of everything sold on the roadside and try and see what the possibilities of this is. I was getting a bicycle, cycle in Jaipur, and I saw this cycle value. 10 paisa perfect. Uh, 78. <laughs> I don't know whether it's available, whether it's replaced out. No one uses cycle back here. And if you take two matchsticks, they go very snug and you make a very flexible joint, too, like this, and you start putting your hands to take the two hands on the right hand, and the two hands on the straight hand. It's like a flexible couple. You can cross the drive at any angle. If you have three of them, you can loop them together and make one. It's a very special kind of triangle because all the matchsticks are mass produced in the factory. So these are all 60 degrees. So this is children get a very nice feel for 60 degrees. With four, you make a square. With five, you make a pentagon hexagon. Make all these two dimensional particles. And it's a wonderful products. These are all flexible joints. Pull this out, it becomes a big game. <laughs> Give it a push, it becomes a ballet. But it's like your amoeba, which is constantly changing this out for fun. It's very, very flexible. Inspect the pentagon, pull this out, this becomes a boat shape. But if you push this in, this becomes a line, a kind of house shape, a combination of a square and a triangle, push this in, becomes an isosceles. Again, very, very shaped. The square may look very square and print, give it a push, it becomes a rhombus. But then you give a child a triangle, a triangle, a triangle. Now this bedrock all civil and mechanical. You can't make a bridge with square members. If the train would come, the bridge would start doing the pass, start doing the jig. Very unstable. You can't make a, the roof of a house with a square or a rectangle across. Because we put tiles in that, it's just not going to happen. So if you wish to make anything stable, you go to the diagonal, just divide the rectangle square into two triangles. School going, kids school, very easily class. The <laughs> now, these are all with joints, too. If you just poke a hole with a long needle, you should put that thing. You make a three joint of the joint, three, and you make holes in the three vertices, and then you just push in this. And what you would make would be a very nice tetrahedron. We just saw that we 
I was telling that I did electrical engineering. Again, you can distinguish and see what the electrical engineering department wanted to add. Five years I studied electrical engineering, but I discovered the beauty of the motor much later. <laughs> I think once people try and mix it, I think we lost the reduction of good problems. Understand? One of the garden principles of education is concrete results. Don't start with the garden cherries and and in definitions. Start with that. Start with yes. So this will create a very good experience for this one, on which on these things, these abstract concepts to look at very easily. This one. This came much later. Those are I must also think it is quite. If you the battery, it does quite. It's not a big fancy. Poor child, they can make a motor like this. But these are two safety things. It's a word cycle to you. These things are simple things. One people will talk about it. Now, this is called as a civil generator. This is possible only because we have these new dynamics. This is a rare earth matrix, very, very powerful. And this is a the syringe. In the barrel, they go, you can see they reciprocate. And this is a piece of rubber. So, this is the details. Then I take 36 gauge insulated bottle, one in the middle of one. How many times? There are thousands. One thousand. It's like half an hour. Wind it like this. The start and the end, you spray the insulation and you stick up. Okay. That's it. The shape of it is like a moving movement, very powerful movement. Like suppose you are cut by the spoil, there is a medium generated and this is the generator. There's no big battery inside. The poor and megawatt megawatt generator a thousand. The principle of science doesn't change. <laughs> This is something we should have some glory. Notice that these ring magnets. And, but they all come from China. And this is magnets, this piece of rubber slipper. And this is the Chinese, the Lema Chipper. And the magnets, probably Chinese, <laughs> made the diameter of the pens <laughs> to suit their magnets <laughs> without scraping the wooden yeah. The front edge, <laughs> so I only know the opposite. This is not the other result. This is how it comes together. The real ones depend. So they must be similar, but it doesn't matter. Now, the front one is pulling it, the rear one is pushing it. I think over here. Hanging in the air and swirling. I'm not planting on my And it's a lot of friction between my finger. And you can point. So, this is the old CD. It's very difficult to cut glass, but old CDs are very easy to cut. So, we have that. It spins, it levitates, it runs. If you were to go to Beijing, <laughs> you know, the airport in the National Airport is very far, 70 kilometers. They can have in 10 minutes to inside the city. Our kids get a feel as to what. This is the one of these. Not this one. This is Vikram Sarabhai from this. Vikram Sarabhai was in the space program. And it was the, it was the best, the first and the best science seminar at one time. Then it went to sleep, which is another story. They did this experiment with children, 50 years ago. Every child was given a same brand, same size. And they, was, they were given a challenge. You have a week's time. And this, in this empty match box, you have to back it. Only one specimen each. And the child who comes back after a week with the maximum number of things, specimens in the match box will get a price. Very much in the realm of children, they started to get one put a, a sharpener in a rubber 
Mas eu escuto um porra, isso aí. Como uma espécie, que não tira. Mas eu já vou te dar ideia, nunca dá. One strand of hair, one. What a freak! Eu não sei o que é isso, não. What is that? All the children gathered up for a week. They were all asked to stand and shake their matchboxes. If they made sound without, <laughs> without inspection, right? <laughs> there was a void inside. And there was some cavity inside. Child, he actually made a film of this. He's breaking the How many things in the back? A child was in the back. How many things in the back? The science is not. Or most of the laboratories are junk, they ask for high tech junk. Right? Science is a little, you see, particularly, look at critically at phenomena, close to you. Kids learn best the other principles of education from the near to the far. Start with what the kid has. The child, the child can play the everyday objects and use for science. It's, it's guided to the child to use everyday objects. We make several, several uh, toys. We don't call them science. The horrendous way science is taught in schools and mass is taught, it gives children a lifetime distaste. Oh, children like to play. Whether they go to school or not, whether they learn science or not, so we call them toys from trash. And this is a matchbox at the string. And it's like a rail You can see the back of the rail tracks. This is the engine. Okay. <laughs> it's that song. Both of you can come to the Gapshi. <laughs> very much. There's no good to do today. If you just take a picture of a rabbit, it's like a rabbit going hop, hop, hop. Like, right? if you take a picture of a, of a spider, like a, or a lizard, like a lizard climbing the wall. <laughs> just a picture of it. How to play? You just take it along the road, along the thread, poke it over here, take it up and slam it. It comes to the street first. Again, poke it, take it up. And this is two slam threads that gives it enough to shoot to get the point. This is the third book. This is the mad box. What we've done is we've stuck two paper things. You can see the paper tips are edging up. Two millimeters, they're popping from the edge of the match, the, match, the shell of the matchbox, so that we can weave a thread through it. Put the drawer to make it heavy, and that's it. If you hold the thread taut, this is really creepy. This is actually a fish coming down. <laughs> Make a lot of paper going. One of the newspapers in life is the little squares because the cheapest paper is the little one. And the school that we will be buying a small round. You can see this. I don't know if you can let me be true. They also look like girls for that. And no scissors. Make two slightly longish and roundish ears. Pull this to the front and pull this to the back. 30 seconds, you're Mr. Rev. Grabs yes, <laughs> face, and this again. You grab the you, you hold you hold you hold the legs just below the body. You grab the tail and move it forwards and backwards. And it's something which is dynamic, which something which moves. The always attracts attention. Sitting ducks remain sitting ducks. It can bore them very fast. It should be it should be a dynamic element. See, so, this is the drama. <laughs> Just a little stick, a piece of straw. You can do this. Same thing if you take a piece of paper. And this has been documented 300 years. In two minutes, you fold it. It's a flattened word. Japanese kids have been doing this for 300 years. It's a kind of adapted into the rituals. Uh, they would pray, have rice cakes, and the whole family will sit and fold paper. 
and because this dovetails with the religion, it goes very long. It's no glue, no scissors. This is this is not a Western. This is an Oriental country, neighboring country. We don't even learn anything from them. <laughs> it doesn't require much resources. And what we did was we took the the Japanese bird and just put a helicopter in the tail. So it's like a fan tail helicopter. You can see this. It's an old ballpin wheel, one centimeter in which a pin is rotated. Wheel is the bush of the barrel. It's aerodynamic. <laughs> It doesn't burn a hole in your pocket. It's eco-friendly. <laughs> you can't buy it online <laughs> if you're clever. <laughs> Rabindranath Tagore said 80 years back. The child should participate in it. Parents can help get getting the material together. And that's the best story. This is, I have a friend in Pune, Anil Lauchan, the best rehabilitation center for drugs in the country. Uh, he was on a program called this uh, Amir Khan's Sakhamev Jain. And they got 60 lakh rupees. It's the best. Uh, he, he wrote his experience of Mutan in India. He just became in Marathi. I passed it to him. He used to come home. He's a medical doctor uh, who was one of the science academy award. Writing. He's a great organist. A few years back, he took his organ exhibition to Tokyo. It's like carrying goats to new class. <laughs> so he, he used to come home and because I was translating his book. And I, 40 years I've worked with kids. I don't like all these elaborate things. He, he would, one page he would make to uh, one tooth Ganesha and present. I didn't keep on seeing that. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. <laughs> Three minutes. It should move, it should be a dynamic problem. Uh, from an A4 side, you can make four of these. And yeah, he's no more than a but you can see this little crack portion. That's like a square. What do this? What do the array? Excuse me, boys. Take a little strip from a newspaper. One newspaper is really light. But one side, people are sitting there, make up. On the other side, make up like this. Interlock both of this and fish. A fish is okay to swim in water. But this is a flying fish. You just see this. <laughs> this, this, this is the most amazing flying fish. This is from Paul Jackson's dynamic toys in the civilian. Well, you make a lot of toys from school. From hostage cross, they've been banned and banned rightly. <laughs> You've got to find some other substitute for them. But if you take a straw and just cut a point. And this becomes like a baby crocodile's nut. You can see this open close. It's like a lead. I could put this in my mouth and pull my lungs out. <clears throat> the best way to disturb a glass. <laughs> 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 you know, you can see how, the, how it made sound because the reed goes inside my mouth, it's in, I'm going to keep this outside, and it's still blowing out, I'm going to suck it. <laughs> what? Vibrations do you sound? Should we mark this up? Can't we make Kohala everyone enjoy? This is the class, have a very joyous science class. The first step in science should be the most joyous. To be hooked, we want to do nothing else. Science is the most exhilarating subject. What we did was just make two, two holes over here. So we can. <laughs> you know, and first thing, the best experiment is to keep doing it, keep making the noise, and keep making sure. Something very amazing. 
कि मैं फिर तो और भी एक्सपेरिमेंट <laughs> पर ये आपकी रूह के साथ में चिपक आपका भी नहीं <laughs> I for 40 years, I had heard this which I kept pretty close to my chest until uh, someone came to see me in any And uh, he was really fascinated by it. And I said, So, what do you do? He said, I make them. Uh, he makes shields for bombs. And he said, So, you do I will destructive thing, you do such constructive thing. What will I do for you? <laughs> I said, You can also contribute. He said, I'm Take you make uh, 31 between parts, no one in the world. I don't know what this part to the town. And uh, I'll show you two, three parts. So this is What it was fifteen feet, right? We also have a slogan, a very provocative, very anarchistic slogan. That the best thing a child can do that was to pray. We preach this. Why do we do this? Because they are the only curious cats left. They want to know what's inside the town. And a good toy is one which they can they can open up, see what the innards are, and. Now, this is a word from this is five years back. The film cap, the discoveries of bottle cap is a lovely distinction for a film cap. So, this is the rest is you make a little valve over here, you can see that. Can you see this opening and closing? Right. This is like a map. So, this is what you can inflate a. This is the room pump, and just hold it tight. Yeah. If I keep doing this, you can burst the yeah. This is the old cycle, too. And film cans, <laughs> film cans unfortunately, have gone to obsolescence. 
you can cut this into a quarter and you have a 50 ml. So you can make measuring cylinders for this. It's a very nice thing. How much water is Intake is not whatever. I take my cup. All the things should be carrying this in their pocket. Shambar gila, don't she gila. They get a very good feel as to how much water they have. And if they're, they're, they're adventurous, they can even uh, see the output. Uh, this, this is uh, designed by a mathematician at Harvard, 1938, within four years, if you complete a centenary. Here's a piece of paper. Every time you flex it, you see a different image. You see butterflies, frogs, snakes, eagles, butterflies, frogs, snakes, eagles. Four pictures which come in a sequence of them. And if you have four of them, you can be a story. And of course, if you have any fourth last child, the hands will be up. Insects are eaten by the frogs, <laughs> frogs eaten by the snakes, snakes eaten by the eagles. If you have a four size paper like this, no glue, no scissors, a scale and a bench. In three minutes, you focus. And then sounds full of cycles and sequences of chains. Uh, the life cycle of a frog, the life cycle of a butterfly, the cycle of the seasons. You could depict anything. And this is not just limited to the study of science. If you're a historian, don't talk about the Google video business. That's the book, right? You talk about the Maratha video. Who was the first Maratha king? You put the picture, the date, the name. Who was it the throne, right? Who killed his father? And who came next? You know, all these kinds of make history interest. You can show dynasties. So a clever teacher could use it for all kinds. Some people this is 14 page on ending. There are not too many dynamic paper models like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is the last page of the book. You can scan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 13. For every child, has a favorite story, which they can hear 50 times without getting bored. They know it inside out, but still they like. So they choose their favorite story, divides into 14 parts. So each child is a different rotating, dynamic, moving picture book, right? And each is different from that. We are amazing for This is a piece of rubber with three pencils. This of course makes a very nice piece. 49 meters. There's no place for the tents, you put down the tents. And then this is the 11, and these are from the 99, and so it's very simple. The other way, in teaching light, a plane mirror, a beam of light strikes the plane mirror, it rebounds the scene. What happens to the concave mirror? Now, we make silly diagrams with that. No one understands it. It gives you a visual peg. To hang the concept bar. If it's a convex mirror, what happens? They die. In 1990, there was a National Association for Islam. India has 12 million The largest thing. These are the population of many countries. This is the extent of that. So they said there's a challenge. Design teaching it for preschool. I always thought that the Hawaii slipper was a gift to education. We have a very Brahmic education, so they do no more how to touch a slipper. <laughs> if I pick up a slipper from the roadside, my wife is very angry at me. <laughs> Just three minutes to cut it. And you cut it with a shoemaker's knife, and you can just see the shape. This does not use the so so no rubber dust. It just sits over here. So it probably puzzles just using rubber slippers. 
well, they, you know, we, we were too enamored by things which come from the West. And we thought, this is a colonized mind. But we don't look at that reality with love, empathy, compassion. We don't. This is not at all us. We were so much dinosaurs. We were not very good at science. We were, not <laughs> we were good clerks of our times. We could beat anyone. Just three of us doing one, everything we did in the government department. Ayuka is funded by the UGC. Our hands are tied to the back. <laughs> but 8,700 people. We were, we were we a rush of people. You know, I will be showing that film in time. There's no free lunch. <laughs> you could be extract a price. You got so many things. Yeah, this is. This is designed by Dilip Bhatt. His wife was born in Kothrud. Dilip is based in Ahmedabad. He works for his show. When the son is born, he keeps on the line. He should be judged. And this is what they designed for this. We have made some changes. Velcro is two strips, one with loops, the other with hooks. This is only with hooks. So this is my drawing slate. <laughs> and this is just like a fishing line. It's a prank over here. <laughs> and if I crank the handle, the wool gets flat. Wool is a lot of fibers. Now, any child is problem. And it's extremely sensitive that time of feeling. Baba is Leta and Leta. The very Today, every plant uses this. The very end. But this is a two piece straw and uh, Slightly fat straw, we seal both the ends, you can take them, and then with the scissors, lift the top right and the bottom left. So, done, you have to see the two holes. This a, a circular hole is very difficult to make in straw. You need just the ticket checker single punch. Right. This is a fruity straw, we made a hole over here. If I shut this and blow, air would come out with right. I passed on some of those uh, in share. <laughs> if, I, if I just reverse it, you can see the direction of rotation. This is something very nice. This comes from a book called this. We is to Science teachers handbook by passing to the CPD. VSO is voluntary services overseas. It's a British channel. Uh, many people will. Over the years, they've seen some 15,000 young Britishers, boys and girls, into the third world. See what is probably first time, the experience for this public. What is not having a meal a day? Go and share your skills. The motto is that you know, sharing skills, changing lives. So three of them got together, youngsters, in this book. And this skeleton comes from there. This is half a four size. From this page, we can make ropes. Okay. Uh, this is the skull. This is the page. This is the skin. So we have to be a 200 odd points. A very nice project. The third, fourth, last one. Just scissors, loose. That's it. So this is a science project. We can also ask them, skeleton for man or woman? Is it a Hindu? Is it a Muslim? Is it a Christian? So what poisons the identity of our ends? The genome project can be demonstrated that 99.999% of all humanity's genes the same. And you kill someone just because he speaks a different language. Has a different religion, or if you're just born 
accidentally in some other part of the world. For probing much deeper biases, which is, there's a friend of mine who just came to AP, his name is Vivek Mundere, P.I. Parsh. And <laughs> he, he became, he did his PhD, and this was the heavy 1970s, and many people find the need to roll with this. They said, we're not going to make bombs just because Abdul Kalam did these acts. These acts are bad for you. These acts should be banned from the world. But you should lose this money. Our health is in the brain. Our education is in the doubts. But you must use not to make designs and be poor matches. Do something worthwhile. We have no right to kill. We can't give life. How can we take life? It's a moral question. He made a small model for a slip of paper with the religious symbols for crop. He made a cross. That's a cutout of a small Christianity. It's present in the And it's the big thing of the symbols. Sun is one to get checked out. If you take it out in the sun and you bring it. Some one and see these cross at the present moment. If you take it slightly above, they become blurry. <laughs> if you take them slightly up, they will overlap. <laughs> and made out who is who, they overlap, showing the universality of all religions. This is not science. It is much deeper, much more, much more ethical, much more moral. You know, it's, uh, this is uh, this is the book by P.K. Stimas. He was my mentor. I dedicated one of my books to two people, mass missionaries. One was P.K. Stimas, he was based in Jena, and the other was my classmate, M. Prakash. Tens of every year, M. Prakash students here in the mass gold or the silver, mass of gold. For the last 30 years, uh, unmarried to Max, mm -hmm. <laughs> 3,000 books in his room, up to two o'clock at night, he just teaches in this. 30 ways of looking at the Bible. This is This is the book by E.K. Srinivasan, <coughs> amazing, and I've never read it. He wrote a book, he wrote 60 articles, Max with bus tickets, Max with coins, Max with the camera, Max with matchsticks. Mass of the matchbox. He, he had a person from a long journal. He was a teacher in America. And he became the joint editor. He said, Push to Karupam. So because of him, they collated all those 60 articles, Max Club Activities. World class. It's a book for us now. Now it's just a typical calendar. Any month. So we just take a two by two game. Two plus 10 is 12, nine plus three is What is this? 19, 19 plus 11 is 30, 12 plus 18 is 30. 10 plus 18, 28, 11 plus. Well, let's be slightly more adventurous. Let's take a 3 by 3 minutes, 9 digits. 2 plus 18 is 20, which is double of 10. 16 plus 4 is 20, which is double of 10. 9 plus 11 is 30, double of 10. What's the sum of all? The average is 10, the 9 digits. Okay. Let's become even more adventurous. Now we we'll see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven days in a week. It's a bit fish. No, no NCRT mass. You see the, the arithmetic equation right there inside the table. But look at this. 1, 8, 15. If you go Friday on the first, second would be on the 8th, 15th, 22nd. But if I look at this, I just put this one, two, three. This I didn't add them up. 3 plus 9 is 12, which is 6, 4 plus 8 is 12, which is 12, 6, 5, 7 is 12. Right. 6 is the average, 7 days in a week, 6 is 7. Difference of 7 is the middle. Friday, nine plus, 1 plus 29 is 30, double of 15, 8 plus 22 is 30, double of 15. So, Take a 4 bar, 7 weeks. 3 plus 30 is 33, 9 plus 24 is 30. 4 plus 29 is 33, 8 plus 25 is 
Why does we need to set the risk system for this? Certain possibilities. How many days would it take to make the real digits? That's very bad. 33 into 14 should be the answer. It's in Canada. No, Canada has printed both his books, number one, the calendar and document number two. In the end. But this is a story again, not written. This is Lillian of Nine. And she regaled children with the story for 50 years. This is my This is a story about Captain Toki Shuka. Toki Shuka was a captain of a sea voyage. Now, most people have heard traveled by train or bus or being flown, but very few people have traveled, traveled in water. So it was a great thrill for people, but after one or two days, all we see <laughs> enormous <laughs> mass of water, uh, not a patch black, and all of it become bored, it becomes seasick, that's it. So Bishanka was a very clever man. He saw that all the passengers were getting bored, so he said, You come to the deck and see me last the whole day. I provided with food and things. Bobby Shankar had a suitcase full of different kinds of gadgets. And he would wear a new cap to be. It's huge. It's in the scorching sun and the rain. At night, when the passengers would sleep, Bobby Shankar would take the same cap and give it one more fold. And the second day, he'll be wearing a new cap. Now, this is the side of the baby. And then the tiny cap because I'm going to burn it up. And it's in some rubble falls. Take the spine for it. Second night, you take the same cap. Do the third fold. Third day, you're in Chicago. It's very interesting. And the third night, two more folks. And this is the most famous cat. I come from Pune, which I think is cute, and the Hidden Archives. And we're very close to Mumbai, uh, which is the one with the QCA about Bollywood films. The policeman cop always wears a cat like this. In Marathi, it's called a Pandu cat. And it's being carried for the international club. So this is the part of it. Four caps. First is the other cap of Sikhi Spine, Scat, Bullets, Shikari cap, the both is the umbrella cap, and he's not the cap, go to Shikari cap, or the cap, or the cap, or the cap. Everyone is involved in learning very much. Seeing the cap, and 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 the cap, it can rock and pitch along with the waves. A huge wave comes and smashes the the final portion of sheet is called the English. So the huge weight comes in parts of the The ship has broken to smithereens. Look at the other caps. It has moved out. So we should get a sleep in one of the things. So we should get a look at that. Put me first. Just like that. Thank you so much. This was a really great help for me and my friends. So we are from the field of education. We basically redesigned learning in history.
Um, my question is ki, I have seen this happen many times ki, when played as a concept is discussed, it is looked at with boredom, it is looked at with some something that kids do, something that is not there for adults. And uh, I really believe through my two years in college, I have really learned that um, you know, games and playing is not really only for kids, it's a very adult <laughs> thing, also, it doesn't depend on age. So I would really like to ask, uh, what are your insights on this and how can we transform this? So, Thank you. <laughs> um, two questions. One is um, how many such effects are there nationally or internationally? Um, and second is, I mean, these are absolutely fantastic. But in today's you know active world where kids are sort of channelized a lot and adults are not distracted enough and doing all sorts of uh, utilitarian things. How much viewing, how much time do people have for these very important activities? Is that I think, having uh, an impact sufficiently or not? Well, I think, see, individually we could, uh, we could have only two groups into our center every week. And those coming of the kids into our center was like a laboratory to be in live contact with kids. But our, our sole purpose was documentation. The first day we swore that we are never going to sell a thing. Second was we are going to design for the poorest children on not Pune, not Maharashtra, but the world. Second was this. And everything would be So we would be documenting. Physically we were but this our films have been viewed by 10 crore people. We've never advertised. We have no means to advertise. They must have liked something. Two crore books have been downloaded in my website. Thank you. Which shows the hunger for the good stuff. Right. Many of the government departments are unable to books. It doesn't come up. And after we left Ayuka, the building is doubled. I don't know about the work. <laughs> the building is doubled. But uh, we must keep something. I was in the Zimbabwe University and I saw bright yellow dots. I see enormous growth uh, If anyone is to blame, it is me and my generation. <laughs> there is hope. Each one of you, and each of you, go to this definition of science, which is the Buddha in 2005. If you are from Hyderabad, go to the media Runner School and you will read outside. Don't believe because it is written in your religious text. That's good. Don't believe because your grandfather did. Don't believe because your grandfather did. Don't believe And if you find it to be true, and in the end of the day, it's good. Examine it with the historical teachers. So we have quite, I think it's a very huge number. But I must say that people don't know. Okay, so how many teachers want to die? Some teachers. Very few teachers. Was a Did you buy? In 1931, who wrote his diary called this device? He just don't write. I think we must learn and think in a work that makes a change, makes document. We are very, as a society, we are very poor. We have a strong oral tradition. But writing doesn't come culturally. We must start. The Chinese are much better. <laughs> we are. <laughs> We create stories when none existed, <laughs> glorify things when <laughs> things were in the dark. <laughs> we are good at that. But I think it's a huge I, I work in 25 countries and I come back and uh, I always feel elated when I see hope. That's why I do what I do. <laughs>
I want to ask you for the program abstract ideas to you see, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by this. Uh, there was a time when uh, I was in Delhi and we, these uh, film can bottles, which I just told you. Uh, there was a shop in Arbindo Place, very close to where I stayed. Uh, uh, very close to where I stayed. And they were 25, so I bought a thousand bottles. Uh, why? Why? Just glad <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? You cluttering the house? I thought very serious that. And it's a situation. So I'm fascinated. I did a book on the film work what you could make out of it. <laughs> the king comes to the dump. They came out of it. But I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated by materials. Just materials fascinating. And do a thousand experiments with plastic, which is a challenge, which is delicious. Literally, not just a garbage can, but a garden and parks. So the challenge lies <laughs> what are these going to do with it? And I must tell you that when I, I encountered the bureaucracy in a government organization, when I went to join the new People, two people who came and brilliant. And I told the director, sir, I found the people who like to work with me. He said, You can't do that. You can't get your nieces and nephews inside the organization. We are a government organization and there are rules and procedures. <laughs> so I said, Appoint the committee. And so they appointed the hire. Every committee is a hire. <laughs> Every committee. I just put some squares in some There were 100 people. I said, can you make something in this way? I'm not in the qualification this, this qualification, that qualification. That's not the nature of that. Until the committee said that these two people are heads and shoulders above the rest. So thank you. Otherwise, I would have left. <laughs> you go along with it. I'm just saying, it's not the building, it's the passion. I'm still very curious about the lorry maker story. So, does his work inspire any of your works, or did you see his I going back to architecture? I, I think most amazing. He was a Quaker, like us. Absolutely, I was privileged to live with him for some time in a room, and it was fascinating. Uh, I was in the room; we shared a room. And I'm, uh, I bring mosquitoes, so I have the good night open and shut the windows. The Kerala Shah Sai question, then please keep the door open, you will be another guest. In comes Lori Baker at midnight, shuts the good night, opens the window, and he has uh, two sheets which he has sewn, cotton sheets, like a sleeping bag. He gets inside and then snores. <laughs> In the morning, I saw him. He wet his brush and covered the tap with his thumb. I saw him, I would not, so that not a drop of sleep. He had a film roll bottle in which he had cotton, he, he had coconut oil, which he, he put on his scalp. So this is for his ancient love. <laughs> oh, my son. He said, I think you can transfer all these five or two things that pass him. His English I think there's no one. I knew in my heart, he just two days. When the UN announced the first it had to go to the moment. Amazing. He made you laugh all the time. Don't take yourself very serious. That's what he thought. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the official Dory Baker website has half the books for mine. <laughs> it should be that way. <laughs> yes. I have one question. Just like everybody else, I was captivated and transformed. And I myself made lots of toys with my kids and also as a kid. What? So I'm continuing to grow up as a child. Um, I have this question can this whole experiment? 
You want to look at something that kids can enjoy outside. And it's going to be different. <laughs> I think people have, have rattled their minds with this for years. But the whole structure of the school is this. Teachers say, Sir, what is the task of the education? It's not to cover the course, but to uncover it. It's not to cover the course, but to uncover it. You make a joke out of it. Why do you cover it? I uncover it. The greatest teachers in the world have uncovered things. Don't be some look at it. See, there are all these. I have found, I think, two, five videos. The best, you charge 15 lakh rupees a space. And I found dead teachers there. And sometimes in a mess, you find a teacher with this part. So, who is that? Well, for no reason. And wherever teachers have done good work, it is not because of us. It was rooted in the child. Someone's father, parents were activists or. They believed in Gandhi or they <laughs> did something <laughs> which affected. My friend Kushkumar always told me that. How do they prove the difference? He said that uh, we get applications, everyone is a BA, they may, it's very difficult, it's very difficult to uh, choose the better because they're all the same. Character. So you could ask, what is the difference? See, if the teacher is interested in music, willingly he will transmit that. Passion, rub that passion part of the student. If he's interested in bird watch or reading, something would be rubbed out of it. It's without knowing it will not be part of it. So the best teachers are one, not those who have a degree, but who are interested in other More interesting teachers. These government runs mass programs. You know, everything is mass. Master trainers will train another set of trainers, cascading it. I've seen this lingo for 50 years. It's a lot of bullshit. Thank you so much for talking. This is really good to be back. Um, I was so a lot of uh, learning is changing from uh, you know to a very digital platform now for children, and it's also very experimental. Uh, what you know, what do you see about that versus you know working with your hands? And no, I think I think all experiments were show that the Lego block or the wooden blocks still remain at that age. You know, human beings have evolved. We don't evolve so fast. You take another uh, several uh, several centuries, but wooden blocks, not the puzzles. The Lego just makes the brick. It's a $25 billion car. And you can make and break and make anything you want. That, that's what we do. Well, so I wanted to ask can we make our own Lego bricks? Because you are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? No, I, was, I, I was nominated by the Lego Foundation for the Lego. I got the privilege of meeting the chairperson. This is amazing. It's not yet done. You see, the Hindis, uh, the people who migrate in the war, in Germany, several languages, they need to do this. They need to do this. It's not going to do it. They know how to make money. They need to make a super product. That's a deep impression. And please, not good. Plays, right? Great plays, very serious business. <laughs> it is serious business. I mean, um, all I can say is thanks so much for having this. Thank you so much.